It's a honey badger. Honey badger. <laughs> but addictive design, you cool recording this shit? No, there you go, Joe. Yeah. So, um, All right. this is my buddy Kevin's 2018 Raptor. We're gonna screw it all up for him. <laughs> Cheap ass couldn't go get the one with all the bumpers already, so he's making this do all the work for him. So, um, we got, oh shit, let me shoot. Do I install one of these guys? We got all these accessories here nuts and bolts. We got to install a big light bar. We got to install this big hunky dunky honey, ba honey badger bumper, I think, by Addictive Design. What you can do, since there's so many damn bolts in this truck, you get a piece of cardboard and draw out the bumper. And then wherever you take the bolt out, you can put it in the cardboard, give you an idea where everything goes. We have a special guest in uh, the studio today. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're running the 11s and, and uh, 916s, 13s. 11s and 916s. Um, so a bunch of uh, Mickey Mouse shit. P pretty cool shit, though. Um, hopefully it all fits. Um, they got these plastic guys. They got this guy right here. You slide it in here, and this thing slides over. This thing locks into place. The bumper itself has got these brackets right here, which is pretty cool. These guys just slide, slide right up in here, which is pretty, pretty nice. The other side, uh, let's see. I bring 11 box in and a ratchet. Yeah, it's an 11. 11, 11 uh, wrench. You tighten these guys up. We want to put these on before we put the bumper on so we're not um, fighting it later. Fighting it later. Plus, it's really easy. So, we're just going to tighten this one. We're just going to give it a little, just a hand tight snug so later on when it's actually on the bump, on the car, at night we can aim it so we're not blinding people. This light bar. <coughs> Pretty sick. Pretty sick light bar. Addictive Designs makes this uh, makes this uh, bracket kit. I highly suggest you buy it because the brackets that come with this is a universal, and they don't fit for shit with this bumper. But if you order the bracket kit, these brackets right here, these guys, out of the bajillion brackets that are in here, umpteen brackets. These are the ones that fit perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put these on too. So then we're gonna put this bumper on. We don't gotta get in here and, you know. Wire everything up. Um, but on the Raptor, uh, wiring, wiring wise, Theo, this wire on that side because the, on the car itself, uh, it's a, it's, it's a shorter run on this side because the battery's on the passenger side. Got so it. same setup though on the, on the bolt setup with the screw and everything. Um, it goes behind the bumper. Put this bracket back on. There we go. We'll do it on the next one. Yeah. Since I'm since I'm lazy, and we got power, we can fly through this install. Other way around. Uh, right here. There we go. Boom. Look at that. Yeah. You don't get carpal tunnel syndrome on your hands. So, All right, here, you can see you can get the screw in the here, and you're clearing this, and you're clearing the bottom, so it's, it's pretty snug in the middle. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the bolt in here now. That looks good. We'll pull it back. <laughs> yeah. There we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, It will work. So, go from the, from the top. Looks like they give a bunch of extras. They got some gnarly, uh, okay. I got a good idea. Where's the nuts? Where are the nuts? <laughs> no nuts? <laughs> Bracket kit, nothing, no nuts? I think they forgot our nuts. Um, hold on. Let me go find some. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, man? All right. Did you, how many did you grab? Two. Oh, oh, okay. I see. So we're pop these back out. 
So they forgot they, they forgot to give us the bolts. Or well, they gave us the bolts, they forgot to give, give us the nuts. nuts. And uh, we're too lazy to run to the store to get some nuts. But we got 12s. So we're going to go ahead and put in 12s. You want to do a washer on top, a washer on the bottom? Yeah, so we're just going to grab some from the shop. You want to put a washer at the top? Like this. All right, we'll do a washer from the top. It just looks ugly, but you won't see it. That just in, ensures that we get a really good, nice grip. You can see right here. So we kind of just mock this whole thing up, and then we can shift it back and forth as we please to, and adjust it and all that. Yeah. I think we can do all that once we get it on the car and get the grill um, and see how far the grill sits back here. So we're not, we're not, uh, so we're not hitting right here. Yeah. So this part's done. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, tear off the bumper. <laughs> it's all hand tight. I'll tell you, just yeah. leave it hand tight until we get to. All right, let's uh, package this stuff up so we don't lose what they did give us. Let's put it all over there. All right. Um, <clears throat> probably. Okay. Um, if we're going to install this, we're probably going to need access underneath here. I say we take this off. Um, so when we get it in there, it's easier to yeah to do. And this is a it's a 13, 13, 13 and a and a and a 13 and a seven, I believe. It is pretty cold this morning. Okay. All right, action. All right. All right, so we got 13 millimeter socket. We're going to go ahead and remove this bottom portion right here. This is part of the skid plate. It's going to give us uh, access to the bottom of the, uh, of the car when we're putting everything back together again. Can you give me some clean creepers? So I'm gonna leave. Hold, hold on, Theo. Uh, hey, hey, John. Uh, Jesus, this is not coming John, off either. If you're, if you're gonna be over there, turn off your mic so it doesn't pick it What's up. What's the narrow creepers? Oh, it's got a. Hold on, cut. Let me go get the. Uh... So there's, I think, about 10 of these clips up here. These type of clips. You get it with the flat uh, flat head of whatever screw clip popper, clip popper the home you name it, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, don't lose these. These are hard to find. I think there's about ten of them up here, down here. They're everywhere. And they're two pieces. They come in two pieces. So once you pop them off, put them back together yeah. again so you don't lose them. Just don't click them all the way back down again. Leave them like that. And they and they gotta. They got a little thing right here to put your flathead in to, to, to pop this up so you don't ruin it. There's one more right here. That one came out all the way. It's gonna be a fun project. Well, I think it will. You know the cool part about the Raptor? is they've got the switches up top by the sunroof, auxiliary switches, all pre-wired from the factory, sitting right here next to the, uh, oh, really? to so the engine box. Whatever you want. Yeah. Oh. And uh, all wrap, every Raptor that I've worked on has come, comes pre-wired with them, which is pretty cool. It saves the hassle of running wires to the firewall, cutting the spot, making a hole is, for it. Is this what Pedro has? Is his a His yes. older one, yeah. yeah. A little flimsy thing. Um, for now, we're just going to leave it up here, it's out of the way. Just lift the head up. Pops These right guys. Up. Look at that. Pretty robo. We got some pins up top. Well, yep, take these guys out. 
I'm going to pop these little guys off on the side so I can see what's going on inside. So we got to get these... Is that 10 or 11? 10. 10. There's like four 10s up here. We're going to remove these guys. I have a feeling we end up having to remove this whole surrounding around the... <laughs> Kevin's going to be pissed off and seeing <laughs> Darren is off the part. <laughs> whole front end is going to be gone. Did they give you a manual with the thing? Or yeah, we got a manual right here. Who uses manuals? <laughs> the, uh, Addictive Designs has a, has a thing on their website on how to remove a bunch of this stuff. So we need to go ahead and disconnect this probably the wiring from mm -hmm. here. And disconnect all the wiring. But, see that, Corey? We've got these plugs up top here. We got these little uh, tabs. You push in, and with that, release the locking mechanism in there and allows you to pull it out. Taking any breaks for lunch or anything? You know, yeah. all the way out. We can. <laughs> this one. All we'll do is that. It's actually going to slide. Those lights. Put these guys in right here. So this is kind of an interesting um, lock right here. Basically, this is a little like kind of like a C-clip, a little plastic C-clip connects to this. And if you open, you kind of have to spread this open with your fingers like this, it releases this. Cheap ass one You got the cheap version of the, of the truck. Did he? <laughs> We gave him so much shit. It's just a cheaper version because it doesn't have lights and stuff. We gave him so much shit for uh, for buying. The, so what happened is we were go, we went to play golf, and he just bought the truck, and we're all you know, oh this is a nice truck, nice truck. So we all hop in and we go out to Yoche Deje, play Cash Creek, and uh, we pull up in the parking lot. There's one just like this one, the white one, but it's all tricked out. <laughs> And we all looked at Kevin and we're like, oh man, what'd you do? My cheap ass bought the cheap version? Because <laughs> you should have seen that thing. That thing looked like a military style vehicle. So we got done playing golf. We're like, hey Kevin, we're going to go hop in this truck, man. Yours is just a little. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just going to keep, keep pushing on this. Careful when you're using these tools, it got sharp edges. You don't want to scratch it on the paint, so try not to uh, dig in, be more a little flat. Pop those out. Hey, if it, it worked. Right. I got creepers. Can we get those out? You think? Get out of there. Well, look, dude, he's pulling off. I know, but it's got clips right here that need to come out for the far enough to come out. Yeah, I think that there is a clip right here and one right there. Well, Kevin, we're drilling your bumper. <laughs> he uses a regular drill bit. Bam. I mean, you can pop these guys out, put it, re rivet it if you have to, but you know, in California, you're required by law to have one of these guys, so. And there's one right down here on this side, and that one right here. Voila. There we go. These clips, be careful not to break them. Is that the thing you have to relocate? This is the radar sensor with a new bumper. This thing gets blocked, so we gotta put this up here. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. Right. There's a big skid plate down here, guys. There's one, two here. There's two back there. These little hex guys are probably for the for for servicing something. We're gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and take the whole thing off. It'll give us a better view of what's underneath here. These tow hook things gotta come off too. It looks like. Fifteen. So we put these in the back. Get these guys. 